Understanding Digital Exploitation, a guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's increasingly relevant in our digital age, digital exploitation. This concept touches on how technology can sometimes be used in unfair or harmful ways. Stick around as we explore what digital exploitation means, how it manifests in our lives, and what we can do about it. We hope this video enlightens you and enhances your English learning journey. Digital exploitation refers to the misuse of digital technologies and platforms to take advantage of individuals or groups, often without their consent or by deceiving them. This can range from stealing personal information online to manipulating users for financial gain. The key elements to understand here are misuse, advantage, and consent. These are central to comprehending the various forms of digital exploitation. In this section, we'll cover a few common forms of digital exploitation. Identity theft. This occurs when someone steals your personal information to commit fraud, often leading to financial loss or damage to your reputation. Data mining without consent. Companies might collect and analyze your data without your explicit permission, using it to target you with ads or sell it to third parties. Phishing scams. These are fraudulent attempts, usually via email, to obtain sensitive information by pretending to be a trustworthy entity. Exploitative algorithms. Social media platforms and online services might use algorithms that manipulate user behavior for profit, such as promoting addictive content. Understanding these forms helps highlight the diversity and complexity of digital exploitation. Protecting oneself from digital exploitation is crucial. Here are some strategies. Be skeptical of unsolicited communications. Always verify the source before clicking on links or providing personal information. Use strong, unique passwords, and change them regularly. Keep your software updated. This includes your operating system, browser, and any installed applications. Read privacy policies. Know how your data will be used before agreeing to terms of service. These steps can significantly reduce the risk of becoming a victim of digital exploitation. In conclusion, digital exploitation is a complex issue that requires awareness and proactive measures to protect oneself. By understanding what it is, recognizing its forms, and taking steps to safeguard our digital lives, we can navigate the online world more safely. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been informative and helpful. Remember, staying informed is the first step towards protecting yourself and your loved ones online. See you in our next video.